This is a Truth Transforms Truth Nugget. A daily dose of truth for your daily transformation. Welcome back to another Truth Nugget. Today we're going to take a look at wisdom. And specifically in Proverbs 1 verse 7 where it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I'm going to be refreshing a truth nugget for you that I did in the month of August where I worked through select Proverbs. I'm going to play that for you now, and I think that you'll enjoy. Here it is. We're going to take a look at some verses in Proverbs, and today we're going to take a look at Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, or the beginning of wisdom. This is an experiential knowledge. This is a knowledge of God. This is a knowledge of God's word, but also an application of God's word. Wisdom, as we see throughout the entire book of Proverbs, is all about knowledge applied. It is not just about knowing God's word. It's not just about Bible knowledge and Bible trivia, but it is about applying the word of God. And we see that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of this knowledge. The fear of the Lord. This is a reverential awe. This is an awesome glory at our majestic creator. The fear of the Lord, capital L-O-R-D. Yahweh. This is our creator. This is our majestic creator who is the life giver who has given us life, given us all of the blessings that we have, and the only reasonable way to respond is to worship him, obey him, and walk in his ways in all, at all times. But we see that fools don't want to do that. We see fools despise wisdom and instruction. They hate God, and so they hate God's word, which means they hate wisdom. They have a form of wisdom, of course. We see that in James, and we see that other places. We see there's empty philosophy. There's worldly wisdom. These are the kind of things that they embrace and the things that they teach and promote, but they despise the word of God and they do not accept God's wisdom. And there's instruction, which can also be the discipline of the Lord. It is God's word that teaches us, that instructs us, that disciplines us. There's chastisement. There's much that needs done to build our character and draw us closer to God. This all begins, of course, with the fear of the Lord, having a reverential awe of God. It must begin there, but each of us, we need to understand, have some full-heartedness within us, and God needs to work and continually get that out of us. This is conforming us to the image of Christ. It is getting the full out of our hearts so that we can be more and more like the wise. And that is what we're going to see again and again in Proverbs is the need to grow in wisdom. Now, it's more, of course, than just knowing the Bible. As important as it is to study God's word, as important as it is to know his word, There are those that know the word of God, but do not fear God because they do not like the instruction. And so they can read God's word in a proud manner, but not apply it to their own lives. They can read God's word and argue doctrine, but not apply it to their own lives. This is what the Bible calls the fool because they do not fear God and we do not want to walk in that direction. We want to constantly be coming to the Lord and humbling ourselves and even recognizing if we 
do walk in that direction so we can come to God in prayer and say, Lord, move me back to a place of humility so I can come before you. I can submit my attitude before you. I can submit my tongue to your control, to the Spirit's control, because you are God. I reverence you. I worship you. You are great. I wrote down some things that fearing God's word should, fearing God should uh, lead us to. Fearing God should lead us to praise. If we fear God and recognize that this is our creator, this is our savior, this is our redeemer, this is the one that has chosen us before the beginning of time, this is the one that has redeemed us from eternity in hell. This is the one that sent his son to save us. Uh, we should respond in glorious praise. We want to worship him. That should be a natural response. The fear of the Lord should also lead not only to praise, but to prayer. It wouldn't make sense to fear the Lord and not want to spend time with him. It wouldn't make sense to say that we fear the Lord, but not want to deeply spend time with him and be more intimate with him in prayer so it should lead to praise and it should lead to prayer and it should also lead to piety this would be obedience that we're walking in obedience if we love the lord we will obey his commandments and not only do we want to obey his commandments because it's a list of rules and we like to have rules because it keeps things in order. No, we want to obey his commandments from a loving heart because we love him as our Lord, our master, our king. So the fear of the Lord should lead us to give him praise. It should lead us to prayer. It should lead us to piety and it should lead us to pondering. Because we fear the Lord, we want to ponder on his word. Because we fear the Lord, we want to spend time digging into the gems that he has given us in his revealed word. Well, I pray that was a blessing. Let me know in the comments uh, maybe a takeaway that you have today and something that it just, I don't know, just give a prayer of, uh, of praise. And uh, that would be something great. I'd love to hear from you. Hit the like button if you could. That helps with the algorithm. And let's close in a word of prayer. And Father God, I do pray that we would be continually fearing you more and more each day. That there would be a reverential awe in our heart, understanding how holy, how mighty, how majestic you are. I pray that our hearts would be moved, recognizing your glory and recognizing all that you've done in your redemption plan and sending your son to save all who believe in him. And I pray that all who watch would put their trust in Christ if they don't know him now. I pray it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for watching for today's Truth Nugget. In the future, if you're watching this on the replay, I'll have a link here to the playlist for Truth Nuggets and Proverbs in the month of August. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.